Hi there, my name's Aaron Short and welcome to my YouTube channel, another episode of Acoustic Guitar Pickups, and today we're looking at the Fishman Rare Earth Blend. So this is a magnetic sound hole pickup with a microphone. I used one of these a few years ago at a gig and I loved the sound. It was very natural, it's very easy to install, and the only thing is it wasn't as biting and cutting as a piezo undersaddle, or even a piezo pickup, which I actually missed in my tone but maybe i'm used to that sound but i feel like so many people online are saying i want my guitar but louder and i don't want an undersaddle pickup in the guitar that i think this will be interesting to a lot of different people and that's why i want to check it out and feature it today it really does sound very good it's one of my favorite sounding sound hole pickups so let's open up the box and see what's in here and i'll put it in the guitar and give you a demo nice packaging as always from fishman Got a magnetic clasp here to open the box up. And then we have our tray here with the pickup inside. I've actually already removed the pickup to try it out, so I'll just take that out. And then in the box, we have the user guide, which is also on their website, so feel free to look at that ahead of time. And a very nice little carrying pouch as well, which is a nice touch, because the great thing with a sound hole pickup is you may not have it in the guitar all the time. So, feels pretty robust. Got a little bit of weight to it. I'll put the weight on the screen. Most of the weight, as always with pickups, is from the jack. You've got that metal jack there. Pickup itself is fairly light. And then here's some pros and cons of this system that I noticed in the past. We have a very long cable. Pro of this is that we can install this in our guitar temporarily and run this cable out of the sound hole. In fact, I've seen people run it from the top of the sound hole, not down the bottom, which is an interesting way of doing it so it doesn't get in your way. We'll try that later. That means you can run this cable out and then plug into it, it's a female connection, and have a nice long cable to go into your mixer or amp. Of course, if you're gonna permanently install this, it means you've got a long cable and it's not detachable. It might be nice to have a detachable cable and then you can choose if you have a long cable or a short cable depending on your application like if it's permanently installed or temporarily installed. But that's not really a problem. If you want to put this in the guitar permanently, which I'm sure some people will, you can just either have the cable shortened or tie it up inside the guitar. That's fine. Then we've got two kind of small batteries there. To change these, you're really gonna to have to remove the pickup from the guitar. I found it a little bit fiddly to get these out, but on the other hand, the battery life is rated at 110 hours. So I would just change them every few months or so, um, even longer if you, if you play less gigs. Then we have this control here. This is the blend part. This will go from the indent, which is 50% magnetic. And this is a humbucker, by the way, which is great because I have a lot of problem with single coil noise where I live. So a humbucker pickup and the microphone, and this is a blend. You either get 50% of each or 100% mic, 100% of the magnetic pickup in the blend. And then you've got a switch here, which is more bass or less bass. That will be very useful in certain size guitars or if you're experiencing feedback. If you're experiencing feedback, you can basically cut some low end off and that will take the low end off the microphone because the microphone is what tends to feed back on stage. So it's a really good design and you use these screws here to install it. You just loosen them, which opens the teeth here. They do have cork pads. I'm always very wary of sound hole pickups marring the finish on my guitars, but these have a very nice cork pad on them, so they shouldn't do that. Obviously, don't over tighten it. There are some magnetic pickups like this that use a thumb wheel to tighten it in the guitar. And the pro of that is no screwdriver is required, but the con of that is it's a bit more unsightly. So the thing about this is it's great, but do carry a screwdriver around. If you use this temporarily or as a backup or you know, you're taking it in and out of the guitar, do carry a small crosshead screwdriver around with you at all times. I do. In fact, I have a passive Fishman magnetic pickup as my backup system in my kick bag at all times. And I have a small screwdriver in there as well so I can quickly install it. But I have to say, this sounds a lot better. The active preamp and the microphone and the general kind of more higher end system does sound a lot better than mine does. One more thing to note about this, as Fishman often do, which I love, the jack is a TRS or TS connection. So your regular guitar cable will send out the blended signal of both pickups to your amp or PA. And if you put a TRS cable in there and then split that off to left and right, you can basically have 
each pickup so the magnetic and the microphone on separate channels of your amp or your mixing board. That means you can process those two signals separately. I wish all companies would do that with their jacks, TRS or TS. As for the price, I'll put the affiliate links below to my Sweetwater and Amazon and everything because prices do change and I expect this video to be up a long time. So check out the links below for full information, the full descriptions and current pricing as well to purchase if you want to. Okay, so it's worth mentioning, very easy to install. The mic is mounted on a gooseneck so you can adjust it. I normally put it more in the sound hole facing out of the guitar for a more natural sound and point it inside towards the rear of the guitar, the back of the guitar to resist feedback. That depends on the situation that you're in, obviously. Normally I run this cable out of the guitar. I don't find it a problem. Lately, I've seen people say online, if you use this temporarily, you should do this and tape it to the guitar so that it's not in the way of your strumming hand. But then, of course, it is kind of blocking the blend a little bit. That's up to you. You need to run the cable down or over. It'd be a great idea to install this semi-permanently so you could have it through to the end pin jack. These controls here are for another system, so ignore those. But let's do the test now. Let's hear my OM28 Standard Martin through a handheld recorder. So you hear the guitar in the room. And then let's hear some examples of it through this system. I'll change the blend as well. I'll show you just the magnetic, just the mic, and a blend of the two. Here we go. So you just heard the microphone in the room. Let's hear this microphone on here at 100% blend to see how close it is. Now this is 100% magnetic pickup. Now I'll give you 50-50, there's an indent that's right in the middle. But of course you can go either side of that as well. But this is 50-50 blend.
right so what do you think please let me know in the comments below every time i plug this pickup in i really 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 like it let me tell you what i love about this system first of all people say to me i have a vintage guitar i can't use another cello pickup i can't install one of those systems what do i do i often recommend sandhole pickups i'm not a huge fan because i am a sandhole sniffer and they get in the way of my sniffage but if you can't install a pickup permanently if you don't want to modify your guitar at all because it's a vintage or very expensive instrument or you just don't want to if you play out once every six months and don't need a permanently installed pickup in the guitar you don't want to add that extra weight and hassle this is the way to go as you can hear the mic sounds incredibly natural if you're live streaming you can use that on its own with in-ear monitors or headphones like these because feedback will be a non-issue it will sound great Whenever I review a system with a microphone included, it always sounds amazing. But you can't use that live. If you could, we'd just use a microphone live in the first place, right? So the, the magnetic portion doesn't sound as good. It sounds like a magnetic pickup. I'm not a huge fan myself. They sound too much like an electric guitar for me, although some people want that. Some people use them to run distortions and electric guitar effects through their guitar, which you could do with this. And it'd be great because it wouldn't feed back as much as other pickups do and then of course the blend of those two is where the magic lies because you can get a really usable sound without feedback and you've got that low cut as well so for me i prefer built-in all-in-one systems but i do have guitars that i don't want to do permanent installs in this is what i recommend it really sounds great let me know what you think in the comments below but i think this is a great system the design is great it looks great it's black it blends in this is probably my favorite Fishman pickup so far. So as always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's demo and review. And if you're new here, please subscribe and ring the bell. I'd love to see you back here again soon. And I have a whole playlist of acoustic guitar pickup demos and reviews on my channel, as well as loads of other guitar content and some performances as well. I hope to see you again in a future video. So take care and be well. And until next time, bye-bye.